Hey everybody, this is my oldest great niece Bridget sitting here and she has a little bit of hunting experience herself. But anyway, here in a few minutes we're going to be reviewing an unboxing of a Marlin Model 60. But uh, since Bridget's here, she's visiting from the Maryland coast, Pocomoke City to be exact. You know, we thought we'd just talk to her and show her how or show everybody how she did last year during the uh, Maryland Youth Hunting Weekend. Bridget, how many deer did you get, sweetie? I got three. Okay. Uh, you got your, what, hunter safety course certificate? Uh-huh. Okay, and you've also got the boating safety certificate, don't you? Yeah, but unfortunately it doesn't tell you how to drive a boat, so don't trust on me to drive a boat. <laughs> well, we'll give you a year or two for that, yet uh, I guess you, your daddy showed you a lot about hunting and shooting, and uh, don't you have a crossbow? No, but we're going to get daddy one sometime. Okay, but you, you've been uh, target practicing with the bow and arrow, haven't you? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's look and see what you did. Why don't you tell us about this picture right here? All right. This was my first earth deer. Shot her right in the face. But first thing, I sh accidentally shot her into vertebrae. What kind of gun did you use? AR-15. All right. Well, here we go. Let's do uh, this picture here. This was the next day, wasn't it? Uh-huh. And did you use that same AR-15? Uh-huh, and we were sitting in the weeds, and the doe was coming right towards us, and Daddy was like, shoot it already, Bridget. And so I shot it, sniped it, totally no blood. Cool. And, and then he looked for deer, and, and then he saw that bucket, he's like, Bridget, be prepared. And so I sniped that one, too. Cool. Say the limit up there is three for the youth weekend? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we'll be back here in just a second, and we'll do that unboxing of the Marlin Model 60. Well, all right. We're back. Uh, Bridget, what have we got in the box? We got a Marlin Model 60. Well, she's getting ready to show it to us. I believe it's safe, isn't it? No, yeah. Nothing in the chamber? That's good. All right, let's get a look at that bad boy. Just kind of hold it right there. Just hold it still. We're kind of getting up and down here. I still got the camera on the tripod. I like that wood grain finish on that. That is nice. I believe this one here it cost a little bit extra. I got it at Mahoney's in Abingdon, Virginia. Let's see what the other side looks like. Alright. It was $189, people, which is a pretty good buy. I like that thing. Yeah, this tripod's a little stiff here, but... Oh, well. It's got this tube fed, uh, holds 14 rounds. Uh, nice little old gun, great for a beginner's gun. Well, Bridget, go ahead and lay that down, sweetie, and let's see what else come with it. Okay. On his manual. All right, instruction book, that's good. Alright, should be something else with it. And safety lock. 
safety lock. Cool. Alrighty, I tell you what, uh, tomorrow if it's not raining outside, me and you will get together and I'll let you take first shots out of it. Cool. Alright, be back with you here in a few. Alright, I tell you what, I gotta give my niece Bridget all the credit in the world. She's only eight years old, be nine next month, and she's already got more common sense about most things, including firearms and firearm safety, than most adults I know. All right. Well, let's get down to it here. Uh, here on the barrel of this Marlin, it is stamped 22 long rifle only. Microscopic barrel, or excuse me, Michael Groove barrel, and it has a 14 round capacity, and it is tube fed. Well, let me tell you a little something about uh, being tube fed right here. You ever watch these videos here on YouTube where somebody's reviewing a semi-auto handgun and they accidentally call a magazine a clip? Then they might have a bunch of comments from a bunch of terminology Nazis, know-it-alls, or just downright smart alex, you know, saying, Oh, it's not a clip, it's a magazine. You don't know what you're talking about. You got no business making videos. Well, I'm going to tell you what. Somebody, you know, that's pretty decent with firearms, they're going to make a mistake once in a while. Doesn't mean they don't know anything about them. We know it's a magazine. They know it. They just made an error. So guess what? Here's the way I'm going to say this. This rifle, as you see here, has a very long tubular 14 round clip. <laughs> there you go. Terminology Nazis, know-it-alls. Clip, clip, clip. I know it's a tube. Alright? Bite me. The first rifle I ever had in my life that I could call my own was a Marlin Model 60. I got one for Christmas when I was I don't know, probably about eight years old. I'd say 1971. Had a little beginner scope on it. I don't know nothing about scopes. I'll be the first to admit it. But that thing was a tack driver. And when I saw this with this, I don't know what kind of wood finish you'd call it, but uh, a fella named Jen Canning did a video on his here on YouTube. And he didn't just use ballastol on the uh, barrel parts or whatever. He put it on this wooden stock. Left it on there for 24 hours and the thing was beautiful. Now my problem, I can't find no ballastol around here now for some reason. So I'm going to do a little research and see if I can find something else like maybe men wood, men wax or whatever. You know, something that will make it shine, make it pop, and be very protective and last a long time. Hey, can't never tell. Alright, after I got home from Mahoney's in Abingdon with this gun, I put it up. I made a little drive to Walmart in the neighboring town of Marion, about 10 miles from here. Now, if any of you seen my videos before, I did a couple of videos on these Diamond 22 pop-up targets. Well, I bought two more of them. You know, there's one, there's the other. These things are great. Recommend it, 22 long rifle. Got the four holes drilled. Got four spikes, you know, you can take your foot, put it, push it in the ground. But I got mine set up on saw horses so they're off the ground. Spring load it right there. No problem. Also, something else uh, Jim Canning did. He did a video about his Marlin Model 60 with two different scopes. One of them was a $29.95 scope he bought at Walmart. I forget the name of it. He did pretty decent. But he also used a center point scope. $59.95 he did a lot better. Well, I went to Walmart. They didn't have the center points. Then I remember something Pete at the Armory Channel told me. I PM'd him a while back, and he said, look, go to Wally World, get a bush nail. That's exactly what I did. 
22 rimfire, 4x32, comes with the rings and mounts. Hey, no problem. Good looking scope, Bushnell. One more thing I found at Wally World before I forget it. Yeah. Season 5, Sons of Anarchy. Every time I went in there, they were sold out. Then I got to the point to where I would call, sold out. I went in there this evening, they had it, I got it. Yep, my favorite show. People might ask me, Team Gemma, Team Tara. I was on Team Tara until she got killed off this past season. Bummer. Also, I found 500 round box Remington 22 Thunderbolts. Yeah, they're dirty. They're not the best 22 rounds out there. But I tell you what, I got them in this little Tupperware thing right here. There's about uh, 800 rounds right there. 22 long rifle, uh, CCI, Blazer, Winchester, what have you, and now Remington. I might end up shooting all through these and this marlin right here. Well, I'll tell you what, let's get to the shooting part. Catch you in a few. Daddy. Yep. That's well, it. that's our video for the uh, Marlin Model 60. Bridget, thank you for helping me, honey. You're welcome. Well, I gotta tell you, of all the shooting uh, and review videos I've made, this in here was definitely the most fun. This is Garage Gate 79 with my pretty little old great niece Bridget. We'll catch you later. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> That'll work.